Oh, it's just fantastic. Look at it, it's still moving. It is alive. Hey guys, it's May 4th here in Chongqing, China, and we are actually headed out to uh, have some Chinese barbecue tonight. If you've never seen Chinese barbecue or seen someone eat it, you definitely want to watch tonight's episode because we're going to be, in addition to eating some Chinese barbecue, some meat and vegetables, that kind of stuff, some really funky foods at this restaurant, that, and they're very famous for it here in Chongqing. So stick around and uh, get your appetite going because there's going to be some cool foods eaten tonight. What is it? What is it? You should be sitting down with your seatbelt on what? Huh? Oh. Shui guo? Shui guo ma? Pipa. Pipa. Look, Patrick. Look, Patrick. Look, Patrick. Look, Patrick. Look, Patrick. Look, Patrick. Look, Shima pipa. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Fruit. fruit. Yeah, Bogo was pointing to a, uh, a tree that had a bunch of fruit on it. It actually looked like kumquats, but I'm not quite for sure if that's either kumquats or loquats. I don't know. I don't know the difference. Actually, I've, I've had loquats at a house that had some loquats. Kind of tastes like really soft apricots. And I am face is turning red. Yes, I am evil. My inner self is being exposed in this tunnel. Shima ni Shangma. I think my glasses are very cool. I think they're very cool too. And I think your English is improving. Patrick bought. Yes, I did buy those for you. We put that in an episode. Didn't we? I hope I want another one. Oh, you want more sunglasses? More. Yeah. More. Alright. Ichi <laughs> Chunaliba. My uh Taiyan Yinjing. Yeah. Taiyan Yinjing sunglasses. Buy some sunglasses. Yeah. Oh wow, look at this traffic. We are back in the mix of Chongqing. And we're still kind of on the outside, but look at this traffic here, guys. Yeah, we're going to grab a bite to eat. Look at that. Look at that sun. Nice, nice, beautiful sunset. Let's see if we can get a good shot of that. No. No? Quick, quick, quick. I know. I know. No, we missed it. Damn it, Jim. This, there we go. Now I'm, I'm doing it. Wait, actually, let's do this shot. Let's do the shot of the airplane. Let's zoom in on him. Look at that. And then give the sun set. And uh, the buildings are in the way. Dang it. Yeah, welcome back to Chongqing. Welcome to getting out of isolation. You go from one form of isolation to another. Wow, Patrick Canali. Wow. Uh, what? What is it? Canali? Yeah. Oh, I see. Can can. Uh, you go from one form of isolation to another. Isolated in the house or you're isolated in your car while driving around in traffic. Either way, we're having a good time. Thanks for joining us, guys. I just I love having you here. Y'all are like my best friends. You know, I've got almost 3,000 subscribers and I love every single one of you. I love every single one of you, babes. And I mean that with love. That's my Sammy Davis Jr. impression. Thank you very much. Needs a little work. Now, yeah, traffic. Yes, I think your sunglasses are cool. And cool. Hey, there's my old apartment. Look. Well, can't see it now. Well, too late. Now it's just gonna be traffic. But we're going in that direction. Nanping, that's the, the direction of the restaurant. 
Look at that sun. That thing is so huge. It looks so big. What does silkworm, squid tentacles, and cow stomach all have in common? They all want to get in my belly. Okay guys, we arrived here at the restaurant. It is called Dong Bay Tanzi Shao Kao, which means Northeast Fatty Barbecue. My yeah. <laughs> Shima? Too many. Too many. Oh, yeah. Shima. Okay. She said, she told me my mouth. Uh, my mouth shouldn't kiss her. She says there's a lot of funky foods here. Tsui Tsui has this evil look of like getting some really funky stuff. <laughs> the feeling I'm going to pay for it tomorrow morning. <laughs> there we go. Let's show you the list. So for you, you Chinese readers, if you can read that. I'm just looking on the screen to the right here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just take a minute. To, if you want to read this, just pause the video and you get an idea, at least my Chinese friends and Chinese uh, readers. That's the problem with this, is I, I can't read Chinese very well. I can read a few characters, but uh, I have a feeling there's gonna be some really funky stuff on this, on this order list. And that's quite a bit actually looking at the list. Mingzha Jilga, Pijo. Harbin. Harbin. Harbin Pijo. Ah, cool. Harbin Pijo. If you have a, uh, a weak stomach, you might uh, you might go watch somebody else's YouTube channel for a couple of minutes and then come back. Wang huh? Ji. So you see this? Uh, they have this all over the place. Wang Lao Ji. Wang Lao Ji. Yeah. Uh, it's a it's a very it's a famous tea here in China. Uh, they drink this all the time. Very tasty. Sweet tea. It actually tastes like West Texas sweet tea. It's very tasty. Ahu, which means tasty. All right, here's our, our first our first dish, and it looks like it's. I think it's either tendon. I think it's tendon actually, because I've, I've had this before, and I've, it, I recognize it. So I'll show you a picture of it in just a second. Mio Ban Jin. What is it? Is it tendon? Maybe. I don't know. Well, let's translate for our viewers here. Also. This is how we communicate a lot. It's just going back and forth if I don't understand her. If she doesn't know it, I'll pull out the uh, Google Translate. I'll have her read it, and then that's how I know. Oh, it was in English. Got to drink. Got to reverse it. There we go. Yep. Tendons, cattle ligament. There you go. Ah, there we go. There we go. Uh huh? Shishi. 
That is silkworm. Let me get the flashlight so you can see. The light's not very good. The lighting's not good out here. Put the light on. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, you can see the shell of it. But yeah, silkworm. I'm gonna eat it in a second. Sheep, young roll. So another part of the uh, Chinese barbecue or shao kao meal is sheep or lamb. Mm. Good. So it doesn't have a, a lot of times to me lamb has this kind of gamey taste, but there's not as much gamey taste as I've had before. Uh, a little spicy, a little salty, very tasty. There you go, lamb, lamb shish kebab. Cheers. Don't go and squish me, Goran. We will fight tonight later. All right, so I'm gonna go for the uh, silkworm. Kind of a plasticky outer shell. You don't eat the shell. But let me just show you what's gonna explode in my mouth. It's kind of like a uh, cream cheese exploding inside of a duvet. I don't know where I came up with that, but let's see. Oh well. Spider. There you go. It's not good. It's not good. So you kind of chew on the shell, and all the insides come out of your mouth, and you spit the shell out. I can't even begin to explain the taste, but it is it's very tasty. Of course, it's got all the spices that's been in it. It's not real spicy in the sense of uh, hot. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. There we go. Chicken skin. The lighting is just not good. There you go, chicken skin. There we go, beef throat or cow throat. But not bad, it's got kind of a slight cartilage texture to it, but it's not as chewy as cartilage is. And they've got it all spiced up, you can see the red spices there. Pig intestine. Ah, pig intestine. Ah, hot. Now we're going to switch seats because the lighting's better on the other side, so I'm realizing it's getting darker. Okay, now we now we switch seats and it'll be better because I can show you the food. You can see it much better. Uh, this is cartilage. Very good cartilage. Let's take a bite of this. Mm. Not too spicy. A little chewy, but it's good. Not too bad. I mean, when you talk about funky foods in China, you, and you try it, it's, it's not as funky as it sounds. The next one is a Jesse Shimon. Very 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 Pig intestines. Oh, now, now we're getting some more funky food. We're bringing more. We got a ton. So let's try this. Mm. I don't know if you can see that. You know, in the United States, they tend to trim off all the fat. They leave all the fat. That's mostly fat, very little meat. And those are peppers, green peppers they have on there. So this is probably one of my favorite. All right, now we're getting into the funky stuff. Grasshopper. There we go, cooked grasshopper. I think it's time we call him the stunt double. What do you think? I ain't eating this. Don't kiss me. She's asking me if I 
have eaten a grasshopper and she says, don't kiss her today. Oh, no, I don't like. Don't like? All right. Here's the... Okay. Here's the grasshopper. Get a close shot of it. It's hard to tell it's a grasshopper, but here it goes. That's actually the first time that I've ever eaten a grasshopper. Even when riding my dirt bike in, the, in West Texas. Sorry for the arm there. Never got a grasshopper in my uh, mouth. But. There you go, grasshopper. That's two. I just say two grasshoppers. How about this one? You know, grasshopper is not that bad. I mean, plenty of spices in it. As far as what it tastes like, I was just thinking this. It kind of has an earthy, grassy flavor. Yeah. Makes sense because that's kind of what they eat, right? Wogo. She won, Jaga. Wow. Wogo likes it. Wait, Ethan Jong. Ethan Jong. Let's watch Wogo eat it. Hachima? <laughs> 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 Let's do some more, uh, let's do some more silkworm. So as I bite into it, it literally pops in my mouth. First thought that came in my mind was watching Dr. Pimple Popper. And her popping pimples, it was like a pimple that popped in my mouth. Huh? Much different from the pimple, I'm sure. Okay. Atrema? Wow. Wogo likes it too. Wow. You are just, you're a hoss. Bei Chang Hatcha? Locusts or uh, cicadas. Sakya Samra. Yes. <laughs> cicadas. Yeah, she didn't tell me she was going to order cicadas. There you go. <laughs> I'm really debating it. That's hot. I'll wait. Gives me a chance to build up some courage. Hairy eggs. That's a hairy egg, people. All right, here we go. Chicken, but don't be calm. Oh. Do you know? Yes, yes. Well, calm chicken. So, it, it's actually uh, an egg that has been fertilized with a chick. So it actually, now that I'm looking at it, here, look at this picture. So back it up a little bit right there. So there is a chick inside of this egg, and that's what I'm eating, and I didn't realize it. It's not bad, actually. It's not bad at all, but just seeing uh, beaks and small feet is just a little weird, but it's not bad. No. And there's, there's feathers in it, too. All right. Here goes the cicadas.
看这是那个拉面汤，整了个那个汤水的。Not bad. Almost similar to silkworms, kind of the same texture. But they almost have a. Don't stay. Huh? Cicada. Huh? Almost has a beef taste. Do you want? I I don't try. No. I don't try. First time trying cicadas. Cicada. <laughs> 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 so we're gonna go see if we can stand in the back with the chef. Uh, Ni hao. Uh, Ke yi uh, shi pi ma? Ah, all right. So this is my second time here, and uh, the, I will say the kitchen's cleanliness is a little bit different than uh, the Western standards, but it's it's pretty cool to be back here with uh, the lao ban. Yeah, ni ni shi lao ban ma. Lao ban de na ge. Lao ban. All right, he's good. Look at this. He's got some tofu there. He's got some tendon tofu right there. Nice. Kitchen. Yeah, look at that. And it's hot back here. The times that I've been here at this, uh, this is my, yeah, sec, it's my third time. Sorry, it's my third time. I think I told you my second time, but it's my third time. But in the summer, this guy, you'll see him in shorts, flip flops. And a an apron, a kitchen apron with no shirt on. So that's how you identify this place. If you find a, a restaurant with this guy and his apron, you're in the right place. Yeah, you can see he's got sweat gleaming off of him. It's actually real, it's kind of cool now. Today was kind of hot, uh, but he's got the fan blowing, and it is hot because you can see the red coals right here. Look at this. Chi, <laughs> 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 